Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Sorry I don't have a plane for you guys this week, but what I do have are a couple of strategies that I've uh, recently learned that I've been employing in a couple of my recent builds. So hopefully uh, this helps those who are trying to uh, learn how to do this and to uh, improve their CAD skills. So here I'm starting insert uh, canvas, stretching out the canvas. Um, so usually I start with uh, straight lines and then I connect the dots with spline. In this uh, example we're going to be showing you the revolve tool which is pretty cool um, so now once you put in your spline to make the adjustments uh, to the point to get the shape you want you need a profile which is there you need a center axis revolving line which is there and now you have that shape this works really well with a uniform cylinder type um, objects um, you can see that the bottom is not aligned, so what I'm doing here is adding a uh, plane, inserting a plane, drawing a shape, and I'm cutting out the bottom of that. Um, the other way I could have done it was with probably just highlighting that bottom and then the move command, and then change the angle of the face. This next section right here is uh, shelling, the shell command, where I hollowed it out, um, and so now you have a hollowed part. The machine gun itself, uh, it, obviously it's not too detailed, so I just drew it outside, um, just drew a box and then I put two cylinders on it to show it, to make the barrels, um, obviously not to scale and not too much accurate. This command right here is the extrude command, I drew two circles in a box, extruded out the circles, now you have the barrels. Um, moved it into the render environment, now I'm assigning color and material, in this case with the turret I'm going to make it glass and the glass was too it was too dark so I lightened it up and black for the machine gun. So now I can bring the two pieces together and just with the move command right click uh, move and then move the body uh, into position bringing back the canvas and I can see that my barrels are short so I extended them a little bit longer. Um, that's a quick way to do it. Um, it's not best practices but this will get you what you need. Um, running it through a flux capacitor and this is the final product. Next, insert command, uh, oriented bird's eye view. I think I've shown this one already, but this is a revolve command again, and this one's pretty straightforward. You take the center, center line of the profile of the part, outline the rest of the part. So now you create this profile, which is basically half of your profile, which is a quarter, and you revolve it around that center axis, and there it is. Um, render environment again, assigning a color to it, and then run it through the flux capacitor, and that's your final product. What's next? This one is a little bit more complex. Insert, stretching out the canvas so you can see. So I look for an opportunity to use the revolve command at uniform areas. So the barrel had that opportunity. Um, so I traced out a quarter of the profile of the barrel, which you see right there. Uh, revolve it around the bottom, uh, center axis, and now you can see it the part form okay next I uh, was the uh, the magazine cassette and uh, this one I just eyeballed real quick um, just drew in a cylinder extruded it and then moved it into place that red line that red vertical line that you see is the, the flat the flat uh, zero zero axis uh, it's important for alignment and then so here I look for another opportunity the revolve command and you can see it you can also use it on the um, the stand itself so I just revolved a uh, quick stand right there and then now I moved all the parts out of the way now I'm tracing the, the body of the, the machine gun itself um, start off with tracing straight lines and then use the spline command to connect the dots that's so what you see here and now you use the, the, the control points on the splines to make to adjust the shape I extruded it out and now what you see here is the fillet command where, uh, which I'm basically grabbing an edge and then softening it and rounding it. Uh, it's just basically for looks really. I noticed there was a little bit more detail on this gun. I don't know what the detail is but I did this just to show you that you could do all kinds of detail things if you wanted. Uh, drew, drew the squares right on the base and then extruded them out. I didn't like how far I extruded it so you could also extrude in and create indentations. So now I'm hiding the body. I need the trigger guard and since they were two, you know, it's a curved shape, I just used two spline, uh, two spline lines that I drew in, extrude those out, and now you have a solid uh, body out of what you just drew. And I noticed that it's off center, so move command, right click, move, and I just moved it back to the center of the, uh, the assembly. 
and uh, here's the trigger gun. So now it's just a matter of putting everything back into place and, and connecting the dots, uh, connecting all the pieces. Um, because I'm not planning to move this assembly or anything else, I did not combine any of the bodies. I just left it the way it is because I'll just move everything at once. Um, assigning some color right here. I noticed uh, one of the parts was off. Went back into the design uh, environment to move that part back over and um, run it through the flux capacitor and that's the final product. So this next uh, couple of parts is kind of interesting because sometimes you're, you're going to get in a situation where you have straight lines and, and curved faces and uh, how to mani manipulate those. So I basically drew a couple of formers and then went to the loft command in the form's body to uh, produce a skin. And so now I'm going to cut um, cut a, a shape out of that skin. In this case, I drew you know that shape that I wanted and extruded out, used the extrude command as a cutting tool from the, uh, the flat surface to ex extrude out. The other way you can do it is if you draw outside of the shape itself and then use the extrude command and cut back in which is exactly what I did here for the second part. You can see the circles drawn away above and now I'm just going to extrude down and cut it. Um, this next little thing here, it's this is the spline command and so what I did is I drew a circle around that cut section then I went to the forms menu and extruded this out and now you have this form body and you have these manipulators um, that you can create the shape the, this created a little gap between the face and what I drew, so I filled that gap in with the extend command, and then I thickened the part with uh, the thicken command. And so you can see, even though it's not uh, to scale to the picture, uh, that's basically the part. Um, here I assign the wood color, change the scale of it, change the direction of it, and then I run it through the flux capacitor. So, hope that helped.